Hi, and welcome to the presentation video of Protector 24. I am Piero, Technical Director of SetPoint, and I'm here to introduce the main features of this new release. In this version, you will find important changes to the appearance of the menu and to many configuration pages inside the Protector. In fact, we have worked to make the user interface more user-friendly in fact, you will see that the menu has been moved to the left and has also been unified with the old advanced menu. New icons have been added to the top level menu items and also all menus have been reorganized to allow an easier search of the desired function. Moreover, all menus have been limited to the second Submenu level. The main setup functions have been grouped together to make the setup process easier and faster. If we go to see one of the new setup pages, for example the anti spam setup, we can see that all main setup features of the anti spam functions can be found here. All items are grouped by category and their name is well visible on the left side. Here we have basic, advanced and fishing and quarantine. We cannot see any OK button because now every change that we do will be immediately effective. In fact, if I click on one of these checkboxes, the protector will immediately activate that feature. After anti-spam setup we have other setup pages, for example anti-spam listings, where we can find the grey listing, the white listing, the black listing and the hard block listing, which were on single pages in the old versions. We can also find here a link to the official blacklists. Then we have the email management with signature and email processing. Then we have other features in the email setup where we can manage the SSL and TLS support, ESMTP support, and some other parameters. Another important change we made is in the web filter menu, where now you can set up all parameters from a single interface. By default, the web filter comes with one predefined group and you can change the settings of this group in this page instead of having a single menu item for each feature. Then you can also create, as it was before, new groups and for each group you can set up all parameters here. Other important changes have been made to the home page in the module control panel that now becomes the unique interface for starting and stopping modules. We have improved these functions so that you can now see the state of each module changing while the module is being started or stopped. So we'll, you will see a clock until the module is fully started or stopped and the icons will change automatically. And here we are. Then there is a better control over dependencies. For example, the web filter can be activated only if the web proxy is active. So if you try to enable the web filter but the web proxy is off, the web proxy will be turned on automatically and vice versa, if the web filter is on and you turn off the web proxy, 
the wet filter will be turned off automatically. Now we see the clock which is showing that the module is starting. Now the module is started. Okay, now the web filter is started. And for example, if we switch off the web proxy, the web filter will be turned off as well. And here we are. Next feature I will show is the alternate relay server function. It is in the email SMTP advanced configuration. And what it shows is the normal situation where the protector uses just one relay server for sending out emails. What we see here means that mail going to every domain will use this relay server through this port. But you can also decide to send mail to a specific recipient domain through an alternate server and this function allows you to do this. You just enter the target domain and the relay server that mails going to that domain are going to use you enter the port and add this new relay server. So we see that mail going to this domain uses this relay server through this port. Instead, for every other domain, we are going to use this relay server through this port. You can add as many alternate relay server as you like. To have a complete overview of all new features of this new release, please read the release notes document that you can download from our website. Well, it's all for now. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.